Hey everybody, Toxic here. I uh, just got a new mic so I can do commentary again. So, now I can explain what I'm actually doing when I'm playing. Um, right now I'm just waiting on someone to join the game. I'm going to be uh, playing my spirit deck, by the way. So hopefully I don't have to play something that plays a lot of back row. Or play against something that has a lot of back row. Because that's really the only thing that hurts this deck. Also, if you have not signed up for the next uh, tournament, I'll leave a link in the description below. It should start sometime in March. The one that's going on right now is about to end as well. Today will be uh, the last day for the current round, and then we're going to do top four. <clears throat> Why is it taking so long? Ah, oh, finally. I find that whenever I do this, I always win. Oh, not that time. Wow, are you kidding me? Okay, there we go. I'll go first, I guess. Sometimes it's better to go second with this deck, but I'll go first. Alright, my opponent has a six card extra deck, so he's probably playing Gladiator Beast. Because that's the only deck that I see people play that has exactly six extra decks. He probably has three of both the fusions, and that's it. So he's going to be playing a lot of back row then, if he has his deck built correctly. So I'm kind of screwed. Search for the quarry. I wish my other Nimble Manga was not in my hand. I hate when that happens. the hippo or rhino or whatever the heck he is uh, this is not going to help me right now let's see if he'll activate a chariot 
Probably not shrink, because he wouldn't have gotten the defense monster if he could just shrink my guy that attacked. Test tiger for... Yeah, actually, yeah. I'm gonna stop. That way I can kill it and he won't get his effect. Don't want him getting Beast Diari out. Oh wow, he had Beast Diari in his hand. Alrighty then. That works for me. Gotta keep this thing in his hand, that way it doesn't go into his deck. Alright. What is he going to do? doesn't know that you can only kill face up. He should have attacked my face down and then got Lamello and killed my frog if that's what he was trying to do. But I guess not. Mm, yeah, I'll get my frog. be a solemn man I guess. I don't know what the kid has said. problem against decks that use a lot of back rows because I don't play MST or Heavy Storm or Royal Decree or anything that really stops back row cards and I don't have any monsters that kill back row either. This card is pretty good. I like it. Um, basically, it switches all effect monsters to defense position and drops their uh, defense to zero. Oh, I knew that was a solemn. That had to be it. 
Basically what I was going to do was switch these guys to defense and then attack them next turn with my Azura Priest and kill all the monsters that he had set. But he stopped it. So now I'm guessing he's going to make Kirk. why you don't attack with your highest attack monster first. Pretty much. I don't know if other people do this, but when I'm playing Yugi, especially on this game, you kind of want to always assume that your opponent has gores in their hand, so you always want to attack with your lowest monsters first, because he could have hit me for extra damage. Because I'm not going to summon Gores on his 14 attack guy, or whatever it is. So you're always going to want to attack with your lowest first. If he set another Solemn and negates my Monster Reborn, then that'll put him at two. Oh, stupid alarm. Uh, that'll put him at 2000, and then I can attack into both his guys. I can kill him if that's a solemn and if he activates it, but I think that's too risky of a play to do because if that's a mirror force and my monster are born my gores then I'm not going to have anything. So I'm just going to stick with what I have for now and I'm going to run over both of his guys with my Azur Priest. Mm. 
Dang, it's so tempting though, because I could finish him right now. But that would be based off of a gap. Oh well, screw it. Uh, I don't want to get screwed by wasting cards. Uh, attack, your fish. Attack your panther. Alright, so it's not a mirror force. And it's not a shrink. Oh, someone else just subscribed. Nice. That was my uh, computer telling me that I got an email. Thank you, David, for subscribing. Alright, Darius. Uh, what? Uh, and we can do it. Okay. So we're gonna, gonna tribute his guy and take my guy. Or not? Wait, is this more mellow in the brain? Oh wait, no, it's in the stack. Alright, so he's basically killing himself to get two switches. This is why I always want to run one random wave motion cannon in all of my decks because I get to points where my opponent has under a thousand life points so many times and I just need like one card to kill them. And with wave motion cannon I can just leave it on the field for one turn and deal a thousand. Plus if you play it early they have to waste their MSTs or their one MST or their heavy storm or something to get rid of it. And there's not a lot of background destruction in this game. Oh my god, this kid must not know how to play Gladiator Beast. I don't know why the hell he did that. So it was a solid. Okay. Well, now I pretty much win. This is why I try to save cards and not just use them right away. Just in case. Even though I could have won earlier. Now I can once we're born this and play this. Battle phase. Alright, and that is the game. Let's see if he quits. Nope. Alright. Well, this has been my Spirit Deck versus Gladiator Beast. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody, and <coughs> subscribe if you haven't yet. And stay tuned for more videos and sign up for the tournament if you haven't yet. I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you, everybody. And later.